What's up everybody, Chris with South Carolina Gun School and today we're going to be talking about some options for your home defense. I want to be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't hear shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Get in my way and you'll be put. Welcome back everybody. Like I said, we're going to be talking about some of your options you have for home defense. Uh, there's others besides what I have here, and that's kind of what I want to talk about today because um, we hear a lot of discussion around, you know, this gun for home defense, that gun for home defense, and it really comes down to your personal opinion, personal choice. Um, I've got a shotgun rifle and a handgun here. Um, mine is really more of a handgun. I like to, that's what I've, pretty much my everyday carry, it comes off onto my desk right there next to me and I'm able to get to it. It's ready to go around in the chamber. Got 15 rounds. So that's, that's my automatic go-to. Now, I also have this in the closet, normally with a 45 round mag in it ready to go. Uh, there's no round in the chamber, I just have the mag in. The only thing with the round in the chamber is pretty much my everyday carry gun and that's got a round in the chamber all the time. Uh, the handgun is immediate. If I don't think I'm gonna have time to get to the rifle, that's what the handgun's for, plus the rifle is there once my wife and daughter are back into the bedroom. That's part of the, the plan to get them back in there because there's guns, ammo, all that stuff just in case they were to need it. Now you'll hear a lot of people talk and pretty much say your shotgun is the best option to have. All right. Hey, if that's what you want, that's fine. I'm just kind of letting you know how I have my stuff set up, how I use my stuff and the options that are out there. If you want a shotgun, that's fine. But now here's the thing with the shotgun. All right, now a lot of people now, before, before I get into that, let me, let me not get ahead of myself. A lot of people say the shotgun because especially if you have a pump, this is a Mossberg Maverick, not a very expensive shotgun, but it's been around forever, gets the job done. It hasn't failed me yet. All right, now yes, I have had malfunctions with the ammo, but nothing from the actual shotgun itself. So, the pump, or your Remington 870 while I'm thinking about it, is another popular shotgun, been around forever. The reason the pump is you have that sound. So, a lot of people say that can deter the criminal. Yes, it might, and no, it might not you really have a 50-50 chance. So everybody is desperate nowadays, so people are gonna try to call that bluff. But that's the big reason for the shotgun, is that, that pump, especially the pump sound. That sound right there is very distinct. Everybody knows that sound. You have semi-automatic options when it comes to the shotgun. You even have options that are set up in a sort of AR platform, um, and then even some that are set up in the bullpup style platform like your Steyr Og or Tavor, something like that. So there are ways to get shorter options and that's kind of what I want you to think about. This is full size shotgun. I mean, it's pretty big. You gotta think when you're going through your house, I mean, look at this. That's, you're going to be pulling back a lot when you start going, cutting corners, clearing rooms and things like that. Now, yes, with a shotgun, you can, if you're using like bird shot, buck shot, you can pretty much hold it right here for the distance you're talking about in your home. But when you're trying to aim, I mean, this is, it's a lot to be moving around. So just some things to think about. Now the AR, if you look, you can kind of see down here. I mean, it's 
considerably shorter. Then if we shorten up, take the stock down, that shortens up even more. So that's why I have the rifle for my backup because it's not as long as what the shotgun is. Plus, I have a higher round count. So I put a 45 round mag, you got 30 round mags, you got 20 round mags, 10 round mags, you've got them 60 all the way up to 100. 45 is more than enough than you're gonna need. With the shotgun, I'm only getting six in the tube, one in the chamber. And then you start shortening these, say if you go to like a shock wave or something like that, and you start shortening them, now you're dropping your round count down. So that's the other thing to think about is not just length, but round count. What kind of round count do you want? Plus with the rifle, I could even throw an extra magazine in the pocket of my pants. That way I've got 45, so I've got 75 rounds. Six plus one. 45 to start, 30 if I need to. Okay. So I'm, I want the round count. I would like to have the round count. I know a lot of people are going to sit here and probably gripe about this video and probably even talk trash. I really don't care. I just want to kind of give you my opinion on it and again, what I use, how I use it. So as I talked about the handgun, the handgun is my first go-to. It's much shorter. If I can, I can even tuck in if I need to, I can still shoot from this position if I need to and I'm allowed I shouldn't say I'm allowed, I'm able to cut and clear corners a little bit better than what I can with these longer options here. Also, I've got, so for me, um, this is just one of my little simulation guns I use. This is based off your Glock 17, so if you want a full size, it's still a lot shorter than what these options are here. So my everyday carry is the Hellcat. I've still got 15 rounds. I've got another mag there with 15 rounds. So that's 30 rounds I've got on me with a handgun. Six plus one. And then, you know, of course, we're going to be able to out round anything going to that platform. But the handgun is going to be the first thing there. That's, that's my automatic first thing. The shotgun, honestly, it's in the safe. Okay, as you see, I don't know if you saw, I do have the side saddle on here. So yes, it's in there. I can pull them out of the side saddle, load them in the gun. No, I don't put anything in the tube when it's in the safe. The only thing on here is just these in the side saddle. So you've got some where you can get that'll come fit back onto the butt stock. I'm not a big fan of those. I like the side saddle because if I do able to say if I just can get some in here and not have to eat from this, I'm able to eat from the side saddle to be able to feed rounds in there if I start running low. So six plus one, six in the side saddle. So I'm still going to out round, I'm out rounding this with one mag, I'm out rounding with one mag. So I want rounds because you just never know. If you want <laughs> ultimate superiority, uh, I would say the shotgun um, is going to get the job done. It's going to be messy. So also be mindful of where you're at, depending on where, what type of home you're in, especially apartment. You need to be real careful depending on how everything is made in the apartment, where everybody's at. So again, some other things to think about. Same thing with the handgun, same thing with the rifle. I mean, now you're not going to get le any less penetration with any one or the other. So that's stuff you still gotta be mindful of. But this is putting a little hole, this is putting a little hole, this is, depending on what you're shooting out of it, even slugs gonna put a pretty, pretty, pretty big hole into walls, doors, things like that. And people as well too. But I want the handgun, um, that's, like I said, my go-to. First thing I'm gonna grab is my handgun. If I can, if I tell I have time, then I'm going to get the rifle out and leave the handgun back there. My wife has her handgun, um, her everyday carry on her nightstand as well too. So we both got these readily available. Um, 
she can handle the AR if she needed to. Uh, unless that's something that I grab, then I leave my handgun. Plus, we've got the safe with the shotguns and other rifles and ammunition and magazines ready to go. So if she needed to get something out of the safe, that's there as well, too. But this is automatic first go-to for me when it comes to home defense. If I have the time, I'll get the rifle out of the closet. The magazine's already in it. All I have to do is rack around in the chamber. This would be, I would really say, a last resort if I had to get this thing out of the safe. But again, last resort for me. That's just what I use, how I use it, and my thought process behind it. If you have something different, then so be it. I'm not trying to start an argument or butt hurt anybody, but the shotgun is not my first go-to. If you want it and with that pump, get the pump, get that sound, rack that round in the chamber. But same thing when it comes to a rifle or a handgun, it's very distinct stamp. Ugh, can't talk. Very distinct sounds when you rack those rounds in the chamber. So you're you're getting very distinct sounds, you're gonna be able to or that criminal is going to be able to know what you're doing if they're even really paying any attention. They might not even be paying any attention. Now the next thing I'm going to add real quick to the home defense. Do you have some type of hearing protection next to your nightstand? And before you say, what do I need that for? If, you, <laughs> if you've never been around some firearms cutting loose, with no hearing protection, you'll know what you need that for. So yes, I keep a pair of amplified hearing protection right next to me, all right, right on the nightstand. It's small, it's just some corded amplified hearing protection and you can use them, it's all Bluetooth, all kind of stuff, but very simple to get on. They're not the big bulky ones or anything like that. It's amplified, so you're going to be able to hear the criminals maybe, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe before they hear you. So just a little add-on piece there with the home defense stuff. Not just outside of picking the gun. I would have some hearing protection there on the nightstand as well, too. Or if it's your Apple EarPod, iPod, whatever the hell they're called, EarPods, um, or some type of hearing protect, Bluetooth hearing protection like that. Something's better than nothing. Without the amplified, you're just not going to get to be able to hear like you would with the amplified. But please think about that, not only while you're picking your gun, but pick out some hearing protection to put next to that bed as well, too. Um, I hope this has helped some people make some decisions on what options you have, my thought process. And again, that's my thought process. You do whatever you want to do. The shotgun, the rifle, all of them, I don't care. There's a lot of options out there. Just make the right decision. That's all I want to help everybody do is make the right decision. So I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Uh, please continue to subscribe and follow, like and share. Uh, that is much appreciated and we're going to continue to have some great videos coming out. And always remember folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range. Society's a myth. Put there to make you sit. Listen to what they give. Don't ask questions. Shut your lid. Yeah, don't ask questions. Shut your lid. I need to run away from this and go get off the grid. Feel like my brain is over.